Hi, this is Terrell from Trailer Chicks. I'm the Clever Chick, and I'm here at my local Airstream dealer. I've got some questions about how to operate my awning. I want to be sure that I know how to do it safely and efficiently. So one of their experts is going to show me the factory approved way to operate my awning. So I'm going to go inside. Hi, Ben. Hi. I'm Terrell from Trailer Chicks, and thanks for agreeing to meet with me. I don't know how much information you got, but what I wanted to really go over is how to set the awning up. That's the part of the trailer operation that I'm most intimidated by. Okay, sure. Well, we can start from the beginning. Uh, this one's already out, so if you want to give me a second, I'll put it down, and then we can start from there. That sounds great. Okay. Thanks. So now that we've had it put up, we can start from the beginning and uh, unlock it, roll okay. it out, and I'll show you the correct way to use it. Great, great. So you've got a special tool. This is the awning wand. Comes with every zip D awning. Okay. Um, and it's your best friend when it's pulling, pulling it out and putting it back in. Great. So um, we've got uh, three locks on this model. We've got the wheel locks on the arms, and then the uh, travel lock up there in the latch. Okay. And they're kind of tricky to use. Um, one of the best ways to get it undone is on these two bars uh, is to push the arm in a little bit. See how that moves that wheel? Yeah. So it's recessed in there. That's why it doesn't pop out when you're rolling down the road. So if you push it in a little bit, it makes it a lot easier to unlock. Okay. So you just turn it counterclockwise. Whoop. Oh, it's flop supposed it to over. do that. Yep. Okay. It That's... just flops over. It doesn't even touch the skin. Okay, great. So that part's good. And the rear one, same thing. Just push in a little bit. And these things aren't supposed to be like really, really, really tight. If they're really, really tight, then you're going to have a really hard time getting them undone. Okay. And then this travel lock, it's, it's supposed to be pretty snug. Um, the best way to get it undone is to just put a little bit of pressure and then twist it. Okay. And so, since that's called the travel lock, mm -hmm. or I guess all of those, like if I'm just going to be resting the awning and I'm camping for a while, do I need to lock all of those back up, or that's just really for when the trailer's in motion? Um, the springs on these are really good for keeping it in, but um, I would at least turn one of the wheels if it's just gonna be sitting in the camp spot rolled up, because mm -hmm. um, you never know. You never okay. know what might happen. Just okay. better be safe than sorry. Great. But yeah, they're definitely more for traveling down the road so that it doesn't bounce out. Seeing the uh, beautiful side. Yeah, or fall off completely. Oh, <laughs> even worse. Yeah. So your uh, awning strap right here, yep. just grab that with your wand. Okay. Walk straight back and just pull it towards you. And now when it's all the way down, it should stay. Okay, so it's not gonna spring back. A, a little bump will make it start rolling okay. up though. So the, they're wound just tight enough to just stay. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. So at this point, you take your uh, your strap here, and you just roll it up. Carefully, carefully. <laughs> Don't drop it. So you've got the little little strap here. Once it's all rolled up. Oh, great. And you just stuff it up in there like that. And you can leave it hanging like this. I usually just tuck it. Okay. And it helps the awning so that when it gets to that point, it doesn't want to roll up on its own. It won't own. snap all the way right. back. So I'll just leave that tucked there. Okay. And now we can go to the rafter arms. The rafter, okay, let's do that. So the rafter arm has a little seated position down here on this post. Right. Okay, and this is a storage position. Okay. Um, all you do, pick it up. Okay. And move it out. Now one of the things that uh, we've been taught too is to keep this Keep yourself in between the rafter arm and the trailer. So if you actually okay. drop it, it comes down and it doesn't come back and smack the trailer. Right, and it's pretty lightweight, so it's not like you're gonna maim yourself. Right. right. Right now, it's loose. So what what I'd like to do now is show you the caravan position. Okay. So if you wanted to go ahead and go and take that one. Sure. Okay, so now it's my turn. So I slide it out and then. Yep, perfect. Okay. Hooked right on there. Now, since we've got the rafter arms on now, uh, the strap being able to hold the awning out, uh, we don't have to worry about so much. In fact, we actually have to pull it out for the caravan position. Yeah. So basically, all you do is 
roll it up. Oh, great. And then you can take this and maybe tie it. Tuck it up across. Tuck it up, yeah, that too. That works perfect. Now, do we need to um, tighten anything nope. once it's in the caravan position? Once it's or there, it's, it'll that's stay. perfect, yeah. At this point, you know, this caravan position is set. Um, and it's, it's really good for tight spaces or if you just want a little bit of shade, you know, um, or to keep the water from going inside the coach. And that Great. helps quite a bit and you still have room to open the door, even though it will kind of drag on it a little bit, but it doesn't do any damage. Okay. So it's okay. So now full extension. Right. Um, take this back down, the strap. If you want to come out here. On the outside. Mm -hmm. And then just pull it back down where it was when we started. Right. And since we're already on the outside, I can show you how to uh, lock the rafter arms into place. Okay. So the right way, this has a spring in it and there's some locks. Um, like I showed you, it's loose. Right. So we have to lock it in place for mm -hmm. full position. Best way to do that is to grab it up here from the outside and okay. just lean back until you hear it click. Okay. So now it's nice and nice and solid. Okay. Do we need to do that on the other arm? Yes, we do. So I'll try it over there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna grab it right above and lean back mm -hmm. until it locks, right? Yep. Okay. Perfect. And there is quite a bit of tension as you felt. You know, yeah. So it might take a little bit of a tug, but trying to pull it straight down because you've got uh, metal on metal friction up here. And that's the reason we like to do it on the outside. Because mm -hmm. if you're on the inside, and I'll show you the wrong way to do it. Okay. I'm gonna watch from up the outside. A lot of people wanna come in here like this uh -huh. and pull like this. And right. what happens is it binds it up and it starts bending this and wearing it out, which is not good. Right. Which is why we wanna do it from out so here. So on the outside, you get enough leverage without right. it rubbing on the metal. Right, out here you're, you're pulling on the, on the piece that you're trying to right. uh, engage. So you're not putting any pressure down or up. So just pull straight back. And most people have an easier time pulling right. instead of pushing anyway. Now extending the arms is a little bit trickier okay. because short people, I'm, I'm kind of short, you're about the same height as me, you only have so much arm extension. Right. Um, nice thing is you can get up here where you're not gonna be hitting your head on it. Now, the way you wanna do that is you have to pick up on the arm just slightly. Okay. Because this is the same as up here, you have this metal on metal friction. Mm -hmm. and you don't want that to be dragging while you're trying to lift this up. This button right here is a lock. Okay. And you actually have to pull it out. Okay. So best way Step. to do it, lift up. Pull out. Pull out with your thumb. Mm -hmm. And then you can use your finger. When you're sliding it up, it slides across your finger. That kind of helps. Guide move, it. Yeah, yeah. Guide thing out mm -hmm. quite a bit. And then you just grab it right here. Okay. And then you let go of the lock. And there was another click. Right. Okay. As you can see right here, there's there's lock holes, oh. and there's only a few of them. Okay. But that's what this sits in to, to lock it into place. And this is the farthest extension out. Okay, yes, great. that is that is the last lock. So that's as far as it'll go out. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna try again. You wanna try this one? Yes. Okay. And go through the steps again. So I'll put my arm around and out. Mm -hmm. Pull the pin out. Mm -hmm. And put your and hand. And then up. put my hand up here. Right. And I'm gonna look. If you let go of the pin when you get it. Oh, there, it just clicked by itself. Perfect, yep. Right. So when you're grabbing this to push it out yeah. and to put it back in, you wanna have your hand on the tube. It's not gonna go anywhere. You're not gonna, it's not gonna roll because of the rafter arm. But you don't wanna grab it here or, or anywhere in here. That. Right, because if you push on it the wrong way, it'll still bind even with your hand on there. It's and pressure. It's a, little, it's a little dangerous too, because <laughs> coming back in, it, you could pinch your fingers on that. Okay, great, so now we, Take it down? Yes, we can take it down. I'll do this side, okay. I'll let you do that side. All right. Basically, it's the exact same way of putting it in. You don't really have to have your finger here to guide it back in, but make sure you don't push on this arm up or down. You just wanna slightly take the pressure off and you hold the pin out okay. until it gets to the bottom and it locks in that very top hole. Easy enough, yep. all right. So if you wanna go ahead and do this one, Okay, so I'll do it on the side. I'm gonna first thing. First thing you want to do. Yep. Hand up. Exactly. And just let it slide. Oops, it's not all the way down yet. Perfect. Like that. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, just like we did, 
we put this up, we gotta take it down. Mm -hmm. So this is the exact same walk button that it is down here. So if you wanna go ahead and pull that. Okay. So if you wanna try this one over here. Okay, so put my hand down. You just wanna support it a little bit. And there you go. And so at this point, just like when we were putting it up, you wanna keep yourself in between the rafter arm and the coach. Go ahead and come in with your right hand and pick it up. Right hand? Yep. Okay. And then put it down on its uh, resting post down there. There you go. All right. Now we can do that side and then roll it up and lock it down. Sounds good. Just give it a good push and roll with your fingers a little bit. There you go. Perfect. There. Went right up. So at this point, you can take your wand. Right. And you flip it. it up. Yeah. Now, with, the, with one hand, you want to be holding the wand, and the other hand, you can kind of push in a little bit on this. So you can just kind of slant, take right it up in, in there. Spot. And then when it pops back out, it's, it's in that groove, so you can just, you don't have to touch it anymore. You can just wind this up and get it nice and snug, but not too tight. Right. Okay. right. So if you want to try that one. Right. Let go of the let go of the arm. There you so go. That kind of. There we go. Tighten it. Yep. And then if you get to the, just pull down on the inside one of it. There. It's pretty locked in. Okay. And then the third latch, the safety latch. Now this one's a little bit tricky. Now what you need to do is put a little bit of pressure back. Right. Pull pull back, not too hard. Just enough to slide that right in there, like that. Okay. You want to try that? Yep. This one I'll be. A lot of the a lot of the operation of this awning has to do with finesse. You just have to barely tug or barely pull. Well, look at how smooth that was. That was great. Perfect. Okay. And you're done. Well, yeah. thank you so much. You're I really welcome. appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, that was pretty easy. Now you're ready to go out and find your next adventure with Airstream. Hopefully I'll see you on the road. Remember, proper maintenance and care will keep you and your Airstream happy for years to come. Find more tips on Airstream.com or visit your local Airstream dealer.